All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms, data structures, beta, learn form validation by building a calorie counter. Step 93. All right. So to finish off this function, we're going to need to restore the hide class to the output element. The class list property has an add method, which is the opposite of the remove method. It accepts a string representing the class to add to the element. All right. So just like for that other one, uh, we're going to go, we're going to come over here and say like class add method JavaScript or something like that. We'll come to the uh, element class list property, web APIs at the MDM site. And uh, we can see right here, here's the add method. We'll click that. And we see the add method of the DOM token list interface adds the given tokens to the list, omitting any that are already present. So if it's already there, it's not gonna add it to it, all right? So here's the parameters. We've got token at in. So it's a string representing a token or tokens added to the DOM list. So one token, comma, two token. In our case, the token is gonna be uh, the hide class, all right? So basically, we're going to do exactly like we did on the other one, except for we're going to change it to add. So we'll get this all of 67 to the end of 66 or all of 66, whatever you want to say. Uh, and then we're going to put it here at all of 97 to the end of 90, pardon me, all of 96 to the end of 95, drop it off like that. And we'll change this remove to add thusly, right? So let's check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 94, and we'll see you next time.